Last week was February 24th, and February 24th is a really special day to me because that was the day my first book came out seven years ago. And that's the only book that I've written that's come out. It's just this reminder of failure and that the dream I've been working for just isn't really working out. I heard about this place that's America's first dog cafe. And you can go in, you buy a cup of coffee, and you get to hang out and cuddle with dogs for an hour. And that sounds exactly like the sort of thing I need right now. Because I just need to feel a little bit better about myself. I grew up in Korea. I lived there for about 16 years. They have a lot of great dog cafes out there, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring the idea back over here. She's just super afraid of it. Oh, that's, that's cool. We'll, we'll give Lou some space. Yeah. This wasn't what I expected. Frito. Frito? No. I wasn't immediately trampled by puppies. There weren't any puppies. And the very adult dogs that were here didn't seem to like me very much. And no rejection feels quite so pure as getting rejected by a dog. And I didn't feel any better. I felt like I was back at a high school dance. All the dogs are over there and I'm over here. Oreo? Oreo. And that's when I met Oreo. He's 15, he's blind, and yes, that is a diaper. When I was petting Oreo, I felt better. And that was the entire reason why I came to the dog cafe. But the reason I felt better was something unexpected. All of our dogs have been through really bad trauma and I think it kind of balances out with people being here and kind of helping out the dogs. And in a sense, the dogs kind of give people that uplifting feeling as well. It might not be an instant uplifting feeling, but people always leave in there always like, damn, this is, dang, this is really awesome. You, you can definitely say damn, this is going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dang. Going on the internet, they say damn all the time, okay. so. <laughs> oh, okay. All of these dogs have had terrible things happen to them. Okay. Neglect and trauma and abuse that makes my depression about book sales seem pretty goddamn silly. But thanks to the dog cafe, they're moving forward. You hasn't gotten a treat. And if they can do it, then maybe I should too. Oh, look at all you guys. You all like me now. You like me now. Somebody's gonna adopt you. You're so cute. Do you like me? Am I okay? So Theo and Fritos are boyfriend and girlfriend. They're boyfriend and boyfriend. Boyfriend and boyfriend? Yeah. Cool. We don't discriminate. 